that are occurring in the last 15 day, 50 days in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Sir, it has, Andhra Pradesh has become a hub of violence in which NDA is also a partner. It is an NDA government led by Telugu Desham Party. And targeted the murder, targeted murders, targeted rapes, vandalism, and by a particular caste groups. You speak on the budget, Honorable V. Vijay Sai. This is budget, sir. Why I'm saying is, sir, kindly understand that I'm I'm saying that Home Ministry allocations to the police department is inadequate. I'm only trying to say why it is inadequate. It is a budgetary speech, sir. Confine yourself. It is a budgetary speech. This will be my advice to you. Please do not object, sir. Why? Why I am trying to justify why more allocations are required for the Home Ministry. Subject is budget. Sir, 490 government, 560 private properties have been attacked. 1,050 assaults have been made. 300 attempts of murders have taken place. 31 political murders in the last 50 days. Please come on the subject. This is subject this, only, sir. No, these are figures you have to authenticate I, again. I, you have I to authenticate. I respectfully disagree with you, sir, because this is a subject. You have to authenticate all these figures. Sir, the homes, and we are not discussing homes, law and order of the state. Ho Please. Homes of marginalized SC, ST, BC communities have been demolished. Please, please confine sir, yourself to the budget speech. I'm coming. I'm, this is part of my budget speech, sir. I'll again Mahatma remind Gandhi. you. Again remind you, Mahatma Gandhi, sir. If you are, please. If no, you are I'll, I'll request you. If, if you are denying, if you are going to deny me an opportunity, I welcome you, sir. Please, you are. If you are you denying, if you are going such things, if you are going you, to you, deny me an opportunity to speak things. on the budget, I please welcome, confine. sir. Please confine yourself. I respect to you. I have great respect towards you, sir. Please confine yourself. Mahatma Gandhi has said, sir. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. This is what Mahatma Gandhi ji has said. Sir, in the instant case, the present government in Andhra Pradesh is a threat to democracy and peace everywhere. Please, please Sir. confine yourself to budget. Please. Sir, next is false news. <clears throat> Why? Sir, the allocations to the information and broadcasting. I draw your kind attention to the second page, sir. Press Council of India. Sir, I am justifying. It is whatever I say, it is relevant. Please do not say that it is not, it is not relevant to the budget. It is completely relevant to the budget. Why? The press council of India allocation to press council of India is 15 point and dot crores, which is inadequate. I'll explain your good self why it is inadequate, sir. Sir, the false news that is being spread in this over the social media by the groups which have vested interest in the country has become a major threat to the democracy, sir. I mean, though I'm not very familiar in Hindi, I, I would like to say, sir, Usutam pe jahan anche aaye, takrana jaruri hai. Jo jindagi ho, to fir jinda najar, najar ana jaruri hai. Appreciate. Sir, there is intentionally accepted definition, internationally accepted definition of what is yellow journalism. Yellow journalism is a baseless reporting characterized by exaggeration, sensational headlines, unverified claims, and partition agendas. This is exactly what is happening in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Therefore, increase the allocations to the Press Council of India and make it uh, make it as, uh, uh, don't, don't make it as teethless and give a pow powers to the uh, Press Council of India to take action against these so-called television channels and the newspapers and also the social media agencies which spread this news, wrong, false news and take action immediately and instantaneously as and when it happens, sir, or even prevent before it happens, sir. Allocation, sir. So therefore, it is part of the budget speech. It is not a political speech. 
sir honorable finance minister has said that union government is following scrupulously in its letter and spirit the ap reorganization act where is it where is the union government following the scrupulously the ap reorganization act what happened to the special category status what what has been promised on the floor of this house by the then prime minister of the country and the bjp also at that point of time has agreed that it should not be for 5 years it should be for 10 years and they have backtracked on that it may special category status may be given to bihar or any other state we have no objection but it should be given as assured and as entered in the assurance register of assurances for in rajya sabha that special category status should be given for the state of andhra pradesh the government is a continuous entity and the promises that have been made assurances that have been given by the earlier government earlier government cannot be withdrawn or cannot be suspended or cannot be ruled out by the present government it they have to be honored unless they are illegal and unlawful sir the ap reorganization act coming to and the budget reallocations the present government is planning to share our tirupati temple in to Tel telangana as well as to share our uh, coast, coast of coast and ports that is what it, the paper reports say not definitely this is not part of the ap reorganization act they have got the majority resources during the bifurcation we have no objection for that leaving almost nothing to ap and ap government is planning to see the present situation of ap government is planning to sell even family silver sir i i reiterate i affirmatively say that andhra pradesh is not for sale andhra pradesh is will never be for sale it will we never it will never be allowed by YSR Congress party whether it is NDA parties or India parties it doesn't make any difference we are neutral we are for the state of the Andhra Pradesh we are for the country <coughs> sir coming to I have another 16 continue. minutes yes please <laughs> continue Lot of yes. yes we have numbers good yes. sir the present ap government the party which is ruling the present ap andhra pradesh state of andhra pradesh which they are aware they are also aware then it is uh, i i pretended to, ignorance speak to the chair truth sir i have no hesitation to say that there is a quid pro quo there is a quid pro quo between the present chief minister of andhra pradesh and bjp what is that quid pro quo quid pro quo is that in the earlier 14 years of rule by the present chief minister particularly between 2014 and 19 he has resorted to rampant corruption rampant corruption come, come either subject, in fiber net scam please. or ring road scam or amravati development region therefore the quid pro quo is these people will not take any action against him and he will not insist for any resources for the state of andhra pradesh oh. this is what the quid pro quo is don't put satire on me please please mr b j sahir reddy speak to the chair <laughs> sir see i am highlighting see their ap government has said super six by misleading the people of the state by saying that super six they have come to power very good people have voted uh, uh, that particular party to power and we we all accepted the verdict and now i have explained five and third sixth one i am explaining sir this is what my super six is sir the present government has taken present ap government and the present party which is ruling and in andhra pradesh is part of the nda coalition in center 
and Union Civil Aviation Ministry has been allocated to them. After assuming charge of, unfortunately, after assuming charge of the present Union Civil Aviation Minister, it is very unfortunate. Within 15 days, three airports have collapsed. And this is what is called opposite of Midas touch. Opposite of Midas touch. Let them realize what is Midas touch. And these people also have to realize what is Midas touch. They have already realized, that is why they are sitting in the opposition. Sir, everything they touch, everything they touch gets ruined, including the state of Andhra Pradesh. This is what my bone of contention is, sir. Therefore, I call it as total disappointment party. That is what TDP is. Sir, I am coming to Super 6 is over. I am coming to part 2, sir. Now part 1 is over. Part 1 of Super 6. Now part 2. <laughs> sir, what, is, what has been allocated to the state of Andhra Pradesh is only a token. Token. Nothing. I don't know why India parties, members of India, India parties say that everyone, I have been carefully watching, carefully observing, that state of Andhra Pradesh has got majority resources. What is that major resources? I don't understand. I have not seen. Being a chartered accountant, I am clueless. Let Derek, Derek G. apprise me as to what, what uh, 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 we have got, Andhra Pradesh has got. Or Jairam Rameshji, who, who, who is expert in drafting the AP Reorganization Act. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, in Bihar and Andhra Pradesh are both allies of ruling parties. They are TDP as well as JDU. Both are allies of NDU, NDA. Sir, in forming the union government. Union government is there because of these two parties. And don't disturb me. When your turn comes, you can, uh, you can, project, you can criticize whatever you want to say. Fake news of yellow media. I have already dealt with that, sir. The fake news of yellow media, that the budget is for Andhra Pradesh and Bihar. The budget, I, I, I say, unambiguously and assertively say that the budget may be for Bihar, because they want to come back to power in Bihar. They have already come to power in Andhra Pradesh. This, is a, this may be a budget for Bihar. Definitely not for the budget for Andhra Pradesh, sir. So let, let India parties rectify the mistake what they have committed and let them in, in the future discussion, let them not say that this budget is for the state of Andhra Pradesh. By saying so, by saying so, they are helping the NDA parties. Sir, 26,000 has been allocated for roads in Bihar, highways. What is that that has been given to Andhra Pradesh? 15,000 crore loan. The two centre is arranging it. I don't know whether uh, Jairam Ramesh ji has to say whether loan can be treated at par with the grant. No. According to me, no. As a chartered accountant, no. Interest is being paid by the state government. Repayment is done by the state government. What is that central government is doing? Finance minister has no clarity whether the exemption is granted. There is no clarification. If at all that relaxation of the limit, even that, is not, that can't be treated as a grant. <coughs> Sir, Industrial nodes, new airports, medical colleges, sports infrastructure for Bihar. No objection. You can give even more also. But finance, the Honorable Finance Minister has said that funds will be provided for essential infrastructure in the state of Andhra Pradesh. This is what the budgetary statement is. How much? What is the total fund that is going to be allocated? for infrastructure in Andhra Pradesh. There is no clarity. And where, it, where is it going to concentrate? 
there is no clarification by the Honorable Finance Minister. Coming to Polavaram project, Finance Minister did not give a clarification whether the revised project cost, as approved by the Central Water Commission, of 55,000 crores, is going to be given to the state of Andhra Pradesh. There is no clarity. And the act has been so loosely drafted by my friend Jairam Ramesh ji, that central government, present central government is now taking advantage of it.